USS Munalbro was a cargo ship that served in the United States Navy from 1918 to 1919. Munalbro was built as a collier by the Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company at Newport News, Virginia, in 1916, and went into commercial service with Munson Steamship Lines as SS Munalbro. In September 1917 Munalbro was chartered by the United States Army, and by December 1917 she had been armed. On May 12, 1918 she was in a convoy on a crossing from New York City to Plymouth, England, when the U.S. Navy cargo ship USS Xamland, ID 2746, suffered a rudder casualty that evening, went off course, and was rammed by the U.S. Navy tanker USS Hisco, ID 1953. While the convoy continued on its way, Munalbro stood by the mortally damaged Xanland, which sank the next morning, and took off her crew. Munalbro then set off to catch up with the convoy. Along the way she encountered the westward-bound merchant ship SS Minnesota and transferred the crew of Xanland to Minnesota for transportation back to the United States. The U.S. Navy acquired Munalbro from Munson Steamship Lines for World War I service as a cargo ship on September 17, 1918 and commissioned her as USS Munalbro at Newport News the same day with Lt. Commander F. E. Cross, USNRF, in command. Unlike many of the former merchant ships the Navy acquired in 1917 and 1918 for use in the war, Munalbro did not receive a Navy identification number, ID no. Assigned to the Naval Overseas Transportation Service, NOTS, Munalbro joined a convoy at New York City bound for Europe on September 26, 1918. She arrived at La Palace, France, on October 13, 1918 to discharge part of her U.S. Army general cargo and continued on to St. Nazaire, Nantes, and Quiberon. She departed Quiberon November 1, 1918 for the United States East Coast and arrived at Norfolk, Virginia, on November 22, 1918. On December 12, 1918 Munalbro made a second crossing to Quiberon, where she arrived in January 1919, again carrying general U.S. Army supplies. In February 1919 she departed Nantes with another U.S. Army cargo, returning to New York on March 1, 1919. On March 21, 1919 Munalbro decommissioned and was delivered to the United States Shipping Board for simultaneous return to Munson Steamship Lines. She returned to mercantile service as SS Munalbro. Boston Enterprise Eastern Gas and Fuel purchased the steamship, and in 1936 her name was changed to SS James L. Richards on behalf of longtime EGNF director James Lauren Richards. Her subsequent commercial service extended for three and a half decades and she was scrapped in 1954.